Yo, what's going on guys, it's Max, and in today's video, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter one, but I kind of wanted to make a follow-up to the last video that I had posted, um, talking about an arcade mode, and just a couple more ideas that I wanted to bounce off of you guys, get some feedback on. Um, it, honestly, once again, this isn't going to be too like constructive in terms of actually having any real points to talk about, more than just it would be cool or fun to see. Um, another little conversation I had with joshua way one of the people who'd commented on my previous videos and leaves awesome thorough responses so thank you like super nice for you to give me some real feedback and constructive criticism to look at um but one thing that i had talked about kind of to fall in line with the arcade mode for those of you who didn't watch it quick recap i think it would be cool if dbd introduced a alternate playlist so that you can play game modes with unique modifiers um, and that could be anything like changing the percentages for movement speed, changing the way that objectives are completed. So maybe it's not just a generator and now there's some other cosmetic choice that functionally has the same kind of progression. Um, some things just to spice the game up a little bit. And one thing that I had saw and on YouTube, it, I've seen it a few times, but executed to awesome degrees when I watch people playing is changing the player cap to a 2v8 instead of a 1v4. We're throwing balance out the window here. Obviously, it's not going to be balanced with the sheer number of combinations of killers that can go into place. I had watched uh, Super Elf, and I think it's Kaido is how you pronounce it. Um, they were both playing killer, and I watched like two Huntresses getting cross-map snipes where you down people at the same time. I saw Deathslinger going into above a chainsaw, which is kind of funny when you lock them in place and then you just get chainsawed. Um, really cool, fun one-two combos that you could have and the fact that there's this whole new dynamic of playing DVD with a friend that you're no longer just survivors together, but you can actually do like killer stuff together. Um, and that to me just seems like a really cool idea. Um, I don't know if it's too difficult for the infrastructure. I definitely imagine having more than five players in a lobby is not what they had already anticipated but and it's nothing against dbd's anti-cheat and the things that i've seen i have straight up watched two bubba's against three survivors and cheaters have straight up just gotten away with having a second killer in a game i don't obviously the anti-cheat has a lot of things in place that stop the majority of people from cheating which is good but like something in my mind just told me and there has to be some base thing in place for the game to be like it's literally impossible for there to be two killers so this game should be aborted and someone should be getting banned. Um, but that didn't happen. That doesn't happen whenever I had looked at other stuff. And that just kind of got me thinking, well, if the game doesn't have that limitation in place, I could kind of see a world where, hey, maybe there is a possibility of having two killers and a ton more survivors. And of course, then there's a whole slew of changes, like the generator uh, algorithm has to change so it can spawn more generators in better proximity. Um, that number of gens would have to change, probably jump up to like 10, I think was the video I watched, but who knows, probably even more than that. And even then some perk combinations worked well with the killers too. Like, uh, I won't go into too many details, but one cool interaction in that video was like one killer picked up a survivor and because he had agitation, the other person who wasn't carrying someone got agitation movement speed buffs and just some really weird interactions that way that I feel like could be really fresh really interesting probably broken a little bit crazy but i feel like that would be fun um it seems like it was all over the place crazy but i think that would just be some enjoyable thing for a temporary mode um another idea and this is the only other one that i really had was if anyone's played mortal kombat let me know that was the first video game i played by the way uh mortal kombat 3 on the super nintendo when i was like three years old great idea i know um, they have a mode called Test Your Luck, and essentially, it's kind of like a randomizer, but what happens is this big slot machine just flies down before the game, and these reels turn into modifiers that exist for the entire game. Now, of course, I'm speaking from a fighting game, so clearly these are going to be different in their implementation for DVD, but I know for some of the fighting games, it's like, okay, magnetic floors, you can't jump anymore. Or one player, like sometimes they're asymmetrical too, one player loses their arms and now all of a sudden in a fighting game you can't use your punching abilities, you can't use your grabs, your specials that require using your hands. Um, really weird, really interesting. I like the mode, 
absolutely can be frustrating though. And I know that's kind of an issue when it comes to the whole community side response and feedback to a mode is like, okay, well, I just got into a situation where that was awful and I don't enjoy it. Um, but for DBD, like maybe there could be some kind of modifiers like that that just randomly go with like, you know, for example, maybe one of the reels modifies gen speeds plus or minus some percent, maybe some hook progress some or minus percent, like you start regressing on the hook faster or slower. Um, you could have random neutral things that benefit the killer, like even though I'm playing Huntress, you could have the Cenobites little chains randomly just slam and annoy you, and that could be some random effect. Um, and these can even go crazy, like in Mortal Kombat, even though it's just a fighting game, you had meteors that straight flew down and would hit you and stun you. Like, it, it made no sense, but was really goofy, really fun. And I feel like you could do some similar stuff like that for, um, for DBD. Like, I don't know how you could tie in every single killer or some kind of abilities. But, like, imagine, not everyone has to play Trapper, but maybe one of the modes is like, hey, there's random traps that spawn and open on themselves. And now, all of a sudden, you randomly have to deal with traps going against a trickster. Right? Like, yeah, of course, it seems like it could be broken, but the whole thing is there's these random modifiers that can affect either player. Um... You know, maybe there's one that adds like five extra pallets to the game. Otherwise, they normally wouldn't get. So you can kind of mess around and honestly, in essence, completely throw the balance of the game off by giving some to the killer, some to the side or, or survivors, and some could be completely symmetrical effects. But the fact that you could kind of just ignore all that crazy stuff going on for the sake of like, you know, oh, this feels imbalanced and just have fun with it, I feel like could be a cool mode. Definitely not permanent, because it would get stale really fast, and even in Mortal Kombat it got pretty stale, um, trying to do that over and over again. But maybe, you know, for a weekend, for an event, when something comes out, why don't you just spice stuff up, drop some crazy new mode, get some hype built up to the game, and people would come check it out, and then, hey, they're, they're kind of prepped going into possibly new content, you know? Um, obviously, once again, and I had this conversation, it's like, there's a lot of infrastructure work, a lot of things that go into it, so I can't imagine there's a world where that gets implemented to a very reasonable degree. Um, but if if the changes do come through that possibly, you know, there could be a PTB that's more accessible to console players, and now you have two playlists of differing rule sets, it could happen. It really could. Um, so that was it. I just, I wanted to talk about some other random ideas. Let me know what you guys think about those. Probably they're really bad. Um... But just more more candy to think about, you know, just figure out what could be interesting to do with the game. And also, uh, if you guys do just have any video ideas for stuff that you'd want to see me talk about or practice, figure out what to do, let me know in the comments. Um, I, I really do like the feedback of you guys giving me some stuff to kind of give goals to think about. I have a couple video ideas left in the pocket um, regarding DVD specifically. But I admittedly am running out of a little bit of stuff. I don't want to just talk about nothing, you know? I don't want to be the person that's regularly uploading and doesn't really have much to say on an upload. Um, so I thought about, you know, I could play another game. Um, I recently picked up Satisfactory from one of my viewers who was really nice and gifted the game to me. I've been having a blast playing it. Uh, I've also been wanting to vlog and stuff too. So like if you guys would possibly be interested in seeing other complete different video ideas, could be unrelated to DVD, could be tied to DVD. Uh, just let me know. I, I'd be really happy to just kind of go through them and generate some ideas myself. I'm still thinking about it. I'm watching a ton of other people's videos and brainstorming all the time. But uh, the fact that I could respond to stuff that comes from you guys is always cool. I, I, I really like the fact that I can have a conversation with someone in the comments because they gave me an idea. I can make a video, they respond to it, and it just gives me interaction. I, I like that interaction. That's why I like streaming on Twitch. Uh, time to plug in the Twitch. I stream Tuesday through Friday, Central, 12 to 2 o'clock. Come say hello. I did that pretty good. I didn't even plan that, but that worked really well. Um, I'll, I'll get out of your guys' head. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, take it easy. Peace.